before we start anything let's think about how we can solve this question here we have the product of x squared and sin inverse x so we can use the integration by parts method we know integral of x squared but we don't have a direct equation for the integral of sin inverse x so we can prioritize the x squared term then using the integration by parts method we can get x cube over 3 sin inverse x minus integral x cube over 3 times 1 over root 1 minus x squared to simplify integral x cube over root 1 minus x squared we can use the equation integral fx to the power of n times f dash x or differentiation of the fx equals fx to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 clear let's jump into the question we can use integration by parts method integral of x squared value we can write as x cube over 3 we can write sin inverse six term as it is minus integral x cube over 3 times differentiation of the sin inverse x value differentiation of the sin inverse x value we can write as 1 over root 1 minus x squared denominator value 3 is a constant so we can bring 1 over 3 outside of the integral then we have x cube over 3 sin inverse x minus 1 over 3 integral x cube over root 1 minus x squared. Let's consider the integral x cube over root 1 minus x squared. Denominator value root 1 minus x squared we can write as 1 minus x squared to the power of half. Then we can write this value from the numerator as 1 minus x squared to the power of minus half. Then we have integral 1 minus x squared to the power of minus half times x cube. To simplify this integral, we can use integration by parts method. We know integral fx to the power of n times f plus x value, we can write as fx to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1. So in here, we have fx value, fx equal 1 minus x squared n value we can get as minus half differentiation of the fx value we can write as 0 minus 2x or minus 2x we have x cube from x cube we can get x value to get minus 2 value we can put minus 2 in the numerator to cancel out that minus 2 value we can put 1 over minus 2 value in the denominator then we can bring 1 over minus 2 value outside of the integral because it is a constant value. Now we have fx n and f dash x. Integral of 1 minus x squared to the power of minus half times minus 2x value we can write as 1 minus x squared to the power of half over half. We can write x squared term as it is minus integral 1 minus x squared to the power of half over half times differentiation of the x squared value. Differentiation of the x squared value we can write as 2x. Denominator value 1 over 2 is a constant. So we can bring 1 over 1 over 2 value outside of the integral. Denominator of the denominator equals numerator. So now we have 1 over minus 2 within bracket 2 times 1 minus x squared to the power of half times x squared minus 2 integral 1 minus x squared to the power of half times 2x. Now we can get 2 as a common factor. To simplify integral, we can use integral fx to the power of n times f dash x equals fx to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 equation again. In this case, fx equal 1 minus x squared, n equals half, f dash x value or differentiation of the fx value equals minus 2x. 
to get minus 2x value we can put minus sign in the numerator to cancel out this minus sign we can put another minus 1 in the denominator then we can bring 1 over minus 1 value outside of the integral integral 1 minus x squared to the power of half times minus 2x value we can write as 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 1 over minus 1 value equals minus 1 so we can remove the brackets and get the result minus 1 minus x squared to the power of half times x squared minus 2 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 over 3. Let's substitute this value for our first integral answer. After that we can remove the brackets and get the final answer as x cube over 3 times sine inverse 6 plus 1 minus x squared to the power of half times x squared over 3 plus 2 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 over 9.